The need for sustained peace in South Sudan has never been more acute as the country prepares to hold its first national elections and draft its permanent constitution. These critical processes must take place in an environment that respects freedom of expression, association, and peaceful assembly, which does not inhibit, but rather encourage civic engagement. The peace agreement is not only implemented in Juba, but throughout the Republic of South Sudan. Therefore, the AU continues to encourage peace, silencing the guns, and the implementation of this agreement based on genuine partnership. It is also to be implemented in time and in order to facilitate free and fair elections. We call upon the political leaders to please, please do not incite political violence. And we hope that the political code of conduct will be in place and stand as a guide to regulate the conduct and behavior of political parties, their candidates, their supporters, before, during, and after elections. I'm pleased to acknowledge the presence of senior party representatives, state government officials, and high-ranking members of the security sector here today. This demonstrates the significance that you place on the success of the peace process, settling personal and political differences peacefully and maturely, and safeguarding the civic and the political space. I would like to express our profound gratitude to our partners in peace for always trying to remind us that as politicians we have to put our people center in each activity that we do and each step in each step we take.